Hello everyone, my name is Antoine and welcome to another repair video on the channel. In today's video, we have an iPhone 8 Plus product red, came for no service. Uh, but as you can see at the top, it says no SIM. That means that we have our modern firmware. So it's not a modern firmware issue. And I'm going to show you in a bit, of course. Uh, let's go to settings, uh, general, about. And uh, as you can see, our modern firmware is here. There is no uh, problem with the modern firmware. So let's go and insert the SIM to check our... Uh, service. Of course, the client said that there is no 2G or 3G LTE. So I'm going to insert the SIM and now we're going to try our network. And as you can see, the antenna is connected. So it's not, obviously, it's not a antenna uh, issue. And now let's go to the mobile data, mobile data option. As you can see, already put it to 3G LTE. And when you dial the uh, star 06, there is no IME. Uh, at all, so I guess it is a problem with the modem or with the WTR, which is a very common problem with the iPhone 8. Uh, of course, now we are going to remove the board and uh, we'll check it, make our uh, common diagnostics, uh, and uh, we'll see if it's a problem with the modem or the WTR. So uh, let's uh, jump up under the microscope. So here we go, we remove the board from the body. There's a little damage on the M5500, which is not going to be a problem because that's not our problem. A little bit of heating, and uh, as you can see, there's a lot of balls came out from the underfill of the elements and the the UAT tunner, which are, or tunner, I don't know what it calls. Uh, basically, there are the GPS antenna and also the network antennas, but again, I'm guessing this, this is not the problem. Let's go to the other side of the board, and as you can see, again, the antenna, somebody already tried to uh, replace it because they thought that it is a problem with the antenna. No balls from there coming out. So, okay, okay, here we go. They also removed the, uh, the sticker, but again, I guess everything looks fine from the uh, downside of the board. I guess uh, now I'm going to go to check uh, if there is any short on the PMU and then uh, we'll see. Uh, I guess we're going to try to remove the WTR. Again, uh, we are going to do our diagnostics. Uh, first, we're going to test all the elements near the baseband PMU and the WTR uh, just to make sure there is no short. If you have the schematics or the board view, you can check all the lines. I'm not going to <laughs> call uh, every line. Uh, so again, this is a common problem. Before you go to the basement right away, check everything. It could be the basement, PMU, or the, the WTR. So if everything is okay, I'm going for the WTR, which is the transceiver. In iPhone 8, we only have one, which is a good thing. Uh, always uh, begin with the less difficult, obviously, uh, before you go directly to the main one, uh, which uh, in our case is uh, the baseband.
So here we are, as always, finished our work and now we're going to test our work. Everything is connected, the antenna, the battery, and now let me just remove this a little bit. Here we go, the phone is turning on. And now we are going to test the 3G and LTE functionality. Okay, turning off and waiting for the phone to boot up. Here we go, as you can see, still we have no SIM, let's go and dial E06. And as you can see, the IME is presented. Now let's go and insert the SIM card and let's go and wait for the uh, service. Okay, 3G and LT are presented. The antenna is connected. Very, very good. Everything seems okay. And now waiting for the service. And as you can see, we have a service up there. And let's go and check 3G. And as you can see, it still says uh, E, which is the 2G. Now let me just go general and show you that there is a modem from okay everything is okay okay this happens a lot after you uh, repair a uh, service problem a no service problem and as you can see there is the LTE and let's go and dial for the operator and as you can see and as you can hear everything looks fine uh, there is something that when you dial a uh, a number or call someone it, uh, it's automatically uh, switched between the LTE and 3G, from the LTE to 3G. As you can see, we have 3G, and it stays on 3G. There is a problem with uh, our network in my country, so I don't know. Okay, still waiting again. LTE, and now it's going to switch to 3G again, and it's dialing. So I guess everything is working perfectly. So I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video is helpful, please make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And uh, as always, stay safe and have a good day. And I will catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.